Good evening, everybody! It's Tuesday night here at Beyond the Airways, the Infinity Project, and since it's Tuesday, that means it's time for Tune In Tuesday. That means we've got new video games, anime manga, Blu-ray DVDs, and of course, the music. Gotta have the music. As usual, we are not responsible for crazily named manga, group names, or album titles. <laughs> so, Twitch, we apologize. Hey, but blame the publishers. Yeah. Blame the publishers, people. Right. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm your host for tonight. I am Oddball Stream. I'm currently joined on the line by two of my crazy cohorts. First, we have our resident Joker, Mike. Hello, Mike. Good evening, everyone. He's down here. He is down here. Well, no, in my case, he's over here. I'm by in the, the way, middle of my down, end. Down below. Yeah, by the, and by the way, you need to change your name. <laughs> oh, for the love of Pete. <laughs> well, mine yeah. has finally stayed. Mine has finally stayed. Yeah. Anyway, there we go. Yeah, and below me, in my case, <laughs> we have a resident store child, Janet. Hello, Janet. I'm up, up, and <laughs> hello, everybody. Hope you're, the beginning of your week is doing good. Yep, and we also have Sajo in the chat room. Hello, Sajo. Hello, Sajo. All right, now, something we need to make note of. Um, We were, th we were considering the idea of adding comic books this week. We're going to do it next Tuesday, because the person... Uh, LaShawn, she started work at her other job today, and it wouldn't have given her enough time. So it's like, let's get, we're going to give her the time to get it done. So next week for sure. Promise. Promise. Let's go. With, let's go with definite maybe for now. Okay. Okay. That that'll work. That'll work. <laughs> yeah. Let's do definite maybe because you can never because you know she has the only this new thing job. predictable. The only thing I'm predictable about everyday life is its unpredictability. Yeah. Just like the weather. Yeah. And I'll tell you this, before we get started, you know, several states are letting up their uh, mask mandates. Bad mistake. Well, that depends. I mean, think about it. Montana's not exactly populated, right? Right. But even if, the, even if Arizona lifted their mask mandates... You still would have still to wear, wear one. Mine. I would yeah, still I think, wear mine. Yeah, yeah, here's the situation here in Alabama. Ours is supposed to be lifted by 5 p.m. this Friday. I think it's going to be one of two things. It's going to be one more extension for about three weeks, or I'm going to say it's going to get to the point where it's going to be a personal choice. If you want to wear it, fine. If you don't want to wear it, that's fine, too. Mom and I, we don't mind wearing ours, but we're not going to force everybody else to, either. Okay? Well, I'll tell you what. For reasons everybody knows, I'm going to keep wearing mine. Yeah, because you've got a compromised immune system right now, right. which is perfectly legitimate. Right. But if somebody says, why don't you take your mask off? Well, you just well, tell you, them the truth. I'm doing immunotherapy. Yeah, that's it. Just tell them the I'm truth. I'm doing breast cancer immunotherapy. Mm -hmm. And I found out ages 55 to 65 could get their shots now. They're... Vaccinations, but you've got to I'm check gonna, to see if we I'm going to wait and talk to Doctor Hare and ask her would it be okay for me to get my shot now or should I wait till April? Yeah, that's a, that's that's always a good question to ask. All right, uh -huh. well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to get started. I'm ready. All right, Five, let's four, them, three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go. Let's go. Opening. Alright, oops, that's the wrong window. Alright, <laughs> now I'm at the right one. <laughs> Oops, see. Did I, I do that? I back from April to March, but apparently not there. Oh. <laughs> from April to March? <laughs> yes. I yeah, we're going, going, we're going, we're going forwards and then second. backwards in time. <laughs> <laughs> I, Good to see a I smile. Forward too far. Good to see a smile, right, Shirley. I'm ready to go. All right. Go for it. All right. So, okay. We have one game that, that came out yesterday for a PC called Foregone. Then out today for PC and PS5, we got Ma... 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 Wii? Maquette. 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 Okay. Then for Switch and PS4, we got Harvest Moon One World. For PS4 and Xbox One, Monster Jam Steel Titans 2. 
for PS4 and PC, Ground Zero Texas Nuclear Edition. Boy, what an appropriate one for that, isn't it? <laughs> Considering what, they had the ice storm and such, right? Okay. Oh, our temperature is going to do a fluctuate. Ours right. too, because yesterday, let's see, what was it? Yesterday? No. I'm yesterday glad I'm Monday. not a Sunday, lightweight. Yeah, Sunday was like 80-something. Monday was like 60-something. There was only like 40-something. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not a lightweight. The wind has been blowing like crazy. Yeah. I'm have to okay. make the wind chimes dance. All right. Proceed on, Mike. All right. For PS5, we got Yakuza Like a Dragon. For PS4, we got Neb uh, Neptunia Virtual Stars. And then coming out tomorrow for Xbox One, Orbital Racer. For PS4 and Switch, their Love, uh, love Lot. Hold on a second. I can't tell what this. Oh, I hate uh, it when they do March that. 3rd. Okay. So for Switch and Xbox One, we have three out of ten season one. Let's see. Then for Xbox One and Switch, we got Cave Bad. For Xbox One, we got Glitch Angels. For PC, Grape Knot. For PC, Bang on Balls, Con. Oh boy! I don't even want to know uh, that one. No, no thanks. <laughs> um. I'm sorry. That title just sounded oh, ouch. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh shit! Let me stop laughing first. Okay. And you? No kidding. <laughs> oh, I'm okay. I'm. I think I'm done now. But knock on balls. Not no, it's bang on bang balls. On, bang on. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Proto would be giving you fits if he were here. Oh God, he would. He would. No, he. No, he. He would be cringing. On <laughs> then like he'd I give you want. grief. I'm, I'm right. sorry, it just sounded funny. All right. Next for Xbox One, under the Jolly Roger. Also for Xbox One, Gravity Fire. For PC and PS4, Mail Mole. For PS4 and Xbox One, Kill It With Fire. Got a lovely picture of a spider. Frodo would absolutely hate that one. And also, <laughs> Mail Mole and uh, Kill It With Fire are released on March 4th. Kill It With Fire, 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 Fire. <laughs> yeah. Boom, 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 boom. That would be Frodo. For PS5 and Xbox Series X and S, we got Mortal Shell. For PC, we got The Life and Summering of Sir Bronte. For PC and Switch, Everhood. Oh, excuse Switch, me. Sea of Solitude. For PC on Early Access, got uh, Ranch uh, Simulator. And for PC and Linux, got Loop Hero. On the fifth, for PS4, got Postal Re. Redux. For Xbox Series X and PC got As Divine Cross. Xbox One, Portal of Evil, Stolen Runes. For Xbox One, Risk System. For Switch, Doug hates his job. What job? <laughs> what does he have that he doesn't like it for? Okay. Like it. The heck is Doug the job? job? What was it? Doug hates his job? That's the name of the game. Doug, Doug hates, hates his, his job. job. <laughs> yup. Well, For Xbox. I thought it said dog hates his job. Dog, dog. Okay. Okay. For Xbox One, Warrior Boy. Also for Xbox One, Dreaming Sarah. Then lastly, for this week, for Xbox One, Nail Mole. And that's it for video games. All right. Let us queue up the on anime manga. I hope the dungeon girls get rescued this week. Yeah, here we Sadly go. Sadly, no. Yep, here we go. Alright, let's switch over to Yon Anime. Right here. Yon Hither. I'm already at March. There's only one that came out yesterday from Nis America, and I asked. Called. Uh, Horror Dora Volume 2 Standard Edition. Then out today, first three 
or four from from Funimation. We got a, a certain scientific real gun T part one on Blu-ray and DVD. Then we got Attack on Titan season three collection also on Blu-ray. Then we have Dragon Ball Z season eight and season nine collection on Blu-ray uh, Steelbook collection. Then from Rice Stuff and Nozomi Entertainment, we got Ah My My Buddha Complete Collection on Blu-ray. From Sentai Filmworks, got Ar or Argon Sign of Vermilion on Blu-ray. Then the last two is from Viz Media. We got Inuyasha Set 4 on Blu-ray and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Set 5 on Blu-ray. Watched a little bit of that. The title fits appropriate. The adventures are bizarre. Oh yeah, the way that, the way it's animated, it's supposed to look like that. It's a certain style. Yeah, but it's not a bad anime. I really yeah. should try to watch an episode all the way through. Yeah, I mean, I've watched like I remember that I've seen the. Hold on a second, my ear. Ah, my ears itchy. All right, what I'm trying to say is, um, I watched JoJo on Adult Swim like one time when I couldn't sleep, and I heard one yeah. of the voices it's like. Wait a minute, that sounds like Yugi! <laughs> it actually was know, the voice of Yugi. <laughs> nice. And I also know for a fact that in one of their ending credits, I don't know which season it was, but they used the song Roundabout by Yes. Yes, at the end, of, yeah, some of the, I remember there's some episodes I've heard Walk Like an Egyptian by the Bangles. Walk they like used... an Egyptian. Mm-hmm. They, they they use popular like classic seventy and eighties tunes right for 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 their ending credits, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And um, because of Roundabout, that became popular and it became a meme. Oh, you know, wow. to be continued mm -hmm. <laughs> because you hear that. Da 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 da. Yep. And so it's become a meme because of that, and it's hilarious. All right, I got manga. Ready okay, to go. we can. Okay, is the train back on the track now? Yes. We, well, it wasn't really off the rails. It was still sort of on track. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, where were we? Manga. Yeah. Manga and light novels. Mm -hmm. I will go ahead and start March 1st. There's only one for yesterday. Mm -hmm. That's from J Novel Club called I Shall Survive Using Potions Volume 6. Mm -hmm. Then. Start March 2nd. Yep. Then we got from Kadansha International. Both of these are digitals. We have All Rounder Meguru Volume 19 and Araki Won't Be Tamed Volume 1. From the, from the J Novel Club, we have An Arch Demon's Dilemma How to Love Your Elf Bride Volume 10. <laughs> Demons and, from, and elves don't get along. Well, they're gonna find some way. And then from Dark Horse Comics, we have the Art of Supercell 10th Anniversary Edition. That is a hardcover art book. Yep. And also, there's a uh, digital. Oh, that's digital you're right. There's digital for that one. On, okay. On the next line. Mm -hmm. So, from the Novel Club, we have Ascendance of a Burk, Bookworm Burk. Bookworm. Just reminded me of something. Oh, come on, Spotify. Shut down. <laughs> From Fantasy's Entertainment, we've got Berserk of Gluttony Volume 1, both physical and digital edition. Mm -hmm. Then the next row, it's all Viz Media. We have a regular and digital edition for both Daytime Shooting Star Volume 11 and Dr. Stone Reboot Bayakuya. Bayakuya. Got it. Lulu, will you settle down? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. Alright. Um, and this next row is also from Viz Media. We got Dragon Ball Super Volume 12, both physical and digital. Then we have Q Volume 43, both physical and digital. Oh, okay, let's see. Uh, then we have from Kadansha International, we've got Hit Hitori Jime, My Hero, Volume 9, Regular Digital. And from J Novel Club, we have I Shall Survive Using Potions, Volume 4, and Infinite Dendrogram, Volume 11. I think it's Hitori Hime. Hitori Hime, okay. I Thanks. Think. 
I think. Don't don't uh, quote me on uh, that one. Okay. That's it. From Gadashi International, we got the Invincible Reincarnated Han Han Kotsu Volume Four. Then from Dempa, uh, we got Lil Leo, both physical and digital. Then from Viz Media, we got Love Me, Love Me Not Volume Seven, both physical and digital. Mm-hmm. Then from Viz Media, we have Love Me, Love Me Not Volume Seven. That's digital. And let's see, uh, from the J Novel Club, we got Marginal Operation Volume 5. From Contention International, My Dearest Self with Malice, A Forethought Volume 2. That's on digital. And for Viz Media, we got My Hero Academia Team Up Missions Volume 1, regular and digital. Then from Viz Media, we got My Hero Academia, um, Academia uh, Vigilantes Volume 9, both physical and digital. Then we got, then from the Novel Club, we got My Next Life as a Villainess, All Roots Lead to Doom, Volume 6. Mm-hmm. Then from Quintessa International, we have My Sweet Girl, Volume 12. That's a digital edition. From Viz Media, we've got Naruto, Shikamaru's Story Morning Clouds, both regular and digital. And also from Viz Media, we have Orisama Teacher, Volume 28. Then from J18, we got Play With Money. There's no cover there because, well, it's uh, mature. Uh, uh, mature. From Viz Media, got Queen's Quality Volume 11, both physical and digital. Then from Seven Seas Entertainment, got Saki the Succubus Hungers Tonight Volume 5, both physical and digital. And I should tell you that that one is a is is mature because we have that at the store. Really? <laughs> yes. Yes, we do have Saki the Succubus. Really. Uh, let's see. From J Novel Club, we have Seirei Gensuki Spirit Chronicles Omnibus Volume 1. And for Viz Media, we have Skip Beat Volume 45, both regular and digital. Hold on one second. I'm trying to set up something here on my end. Mm-hmm. Proton Giant is supposed to be live right now with the Disco and Podcast. He's not live yet. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. From Financial um, International, we got Smile Down the Runway 18. Then from Viz Media, we got Snow White and the Red Hair Volume 12, both physical and digital. Also from Viz Media, we got Spy and the Family Volume 4, both physical and digital. Oh. Sorry, my turn. <laughs> oh. Uh, let's see. Oh. Let's see. Uh,. You did this. Okay, I got it. Uh, from Kadesha International, we got Star Cross Volume 4. That's digital. Uh, from 801 Media Digital Man- Manga Publishing, we have Sweet Ladies. No cover because it's mature. And from Viz Media, we've got Twin Star Exorcist Volume 21 on Miyoji, both regular and digital. I swear those two remind me of Xana Jaina f- as the Wonder Twins. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Write stuff anime for sweet ladies manga. See what that's all about. Mm. Oh yep, yeah. and apparently it's out of stock. Hmm. On the right stuff. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. From Gadashi International, got Wave. Listen to me, uh, volume five. Then from Seven Seas Entertainment. Got Who Says Warriors Can't Be Babes, Volume 3, both physical and digital. And got the last one at the bottom there. Really? Okay. Oh. Uh, let's see. And we also have. Did you get that oh, with a dog that. and a cat? Uh uh-uh, uh. Okay. That, right. That's the last one. Oh, okay. Uh, from Condensed International, we have With a Dog and a Cat, Every Day is Fun. And that's a digital edition. <laughs> Oh, and Lulu no. would disagree with that, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Alright, March 4th. Oh, right. shit. We got Alice in, in the Country of Clover, Tersire's Second Cat, Waltz Volume 1, 2, 3, and 4. There it is. Excuse hmm. me. Then, Sorry, I'm mumbling to myself over yeah, here. Yeah, there's some more from Seven Tim. We have... Drugstore in Another World, The Slow Life of a Cheat Pharmacist, Volume 1. <laughs> Say that five times fast. And then we have Magical Girls Spe- Spec Ops 
Asuka Volume 10, that's a digital version. And March 6th is a Saturday, so. Yeah, that's still, it's still within the week. Mm -hmm. So I get, I'll take this one. I'll, okay. I'll take this one. Uh, from okay. Jane. Oh, you want this one? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay, from Grand Noble Club, we've got How a Realist Hero Rebuilt the Kingdom, Volume 13. Mm-hmm, and go. that's We're it done. for the week. And now, let us get to the Blu-rays and DVDs, and I'll tell you right now, there aren't that many, so... Let's go! Alright, let's switch over to the Blu-rays and DVDs. Let me hop out of here, and hop over here, and switch this thing to this! Because this helps a lot. <laughs> All right, so we have several coming out this week. We've got uh, Half Brothers, All My Life, Fatal, Scare Me, Monster Hunter, Pinocchio, and no, it is not the Disney one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think I don't know if it's got anything new with the game. All I know is Mila Jovovich in it, and then we have Zappa. Yeah, I think it's the life of Frank. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and then on DVD, I'll tell you right now, it looks like it's the same batch. Yep, um, yeah, it's all the same. So I really don't have to do anything else there. And I'm not even going to put in the link for the TV series, because there's only one this week. But if you're a Doctor Who fan, you're going to like this one. It's the uh, Revolution of the Daleks, that one that was on New Year's Day. And it was so good seeing Captain Jack back in the house. <laughs> oh. Mr. Chris, huh? Mm -hmm. But here's but somebody someone came, someone came up with this crazy idea. You've got Jack Harkness in Doctor Who. You have Agatha Harkness in WandaVision. Mm. Could you imagine if those two got together? <laughs> oh boy. There'd be total chaos. You got a time you got a time traveler and a witch. <laughs> I wonder if they did get along. That would Probably be the question. That Agatha would be... is a villainess. Yeah. And so is Lily. In other words, Agatha. Hold on. Okay. Excuse me. In other words, Agatha would get along better with the Master than she would with, with the <laughs> Doctor <laughs> or Jack. Right. Mm. Oh, excuse me, I choked on a little sliver of ice. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Yeah, we'll wait, we'll wait for Mike to come back. Uh, uh, wow, it's only, it's not even 7.30 yet, and we're we almost still, done with the stuff. Uh, yeah, we still got the CDs, though. <laughs> Is there a whole lot of those? Uh, not that many, but we'll wait and see on that one. I'm back. Welcome back. Okay. Mm. Do you hear my game? Table. No, we don't hear anything. Ah, good. Even if we can, it's ba it's barely visible. Okay, okay, be quiet barely a minute. Audio. Okay. Can you hear it? Just a little barely. bit. But it's not. It's not that bad. Okay. okay. All right. Okay, let's get to the CDs. Here we go. All right. Let me hop out of here hop over here. And yay, I did not lose it this time. Alright, so we're not, here we go. Now all these, the first nine listed, they have a March date, but there's no um, actual date, if you know what I mean. Okay, so first we have One Republic with Human, Mitski with This Is Where We Fall, Super Junior with The Renaissance, Jack White with Live at the Masonic Temple, and Saturday Night Live. <laughs> it's the same person. Now, let's see. Alternative TV. Was it white and sticky? <laughs> Galad with... Ew! Yeah, I don't like that either. <laughs> then we have Galad with Paradis Posthumous. All Cool Club with Untitled. Yeah, it's literally says Untitled. Uh, YBN Namir with Visionland. And then starting with yesterday on the first, we have Atiz with Zero Fever Part 2. 
Elena Tilki with Retrograde, Jao with Amor Pirata, Tsun Tsunami without the T, Tsunami with Gulch Tsunami Split, Last Days of Humanity with Horrific Compositions of Decomposition. Say that five times fast. Don't. <laughs> Then we have I wouldn't even try. I get tangled up with tongue twisters. Yeah. Oh, now this is an interesting one. Little mosquito disease. <laughs> yep. Little mosquito disease with warp star reloaded. <laughs> it's like what? Okay. Uh, then we have Leo with Escopito a Machado. Bad computer with destroy me. The good people in milk crate with frost writtens. Lo-Fi Prince was speechless. Il Suji and Brycon with music for indoor cats. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, here's a good one. Sons of Birches. <laughs> Get it? Sons of Birches with wooden head and several more scenarios. <laughs> we have Lee Daigo with Xiao Gong. Flamingo with Le Reve de la Humanité. Alex Erz with Life's Colors. Up Sammy with Bend. Shin Hai Gyeong with All Is You. Tillfall with J Hope. I'm sorry, let me try that again. Tillfall with We're Alone Together. J Hope is the next al next group. <laughs> you know, my well, brain is not quite here. Uh, J Hope with Blue Side. Scale and Feather with Antediluvian. Uh, Flight with Gold Digga figures. I like the anime cover on that one, by the way. Then we have um, be Baby Mother with Mother Motherleficent 2. White Noise Black Void with Reject. Drita with Likido. Abominable Putridity with... Oh, God. Pu uh, Parasitic Metamorphosis Manifestation. That is a mouthful. Let's see. The Notorious B.I.G. with Biggie. I got a story to tell. Opposite Sex with High Drama, Art Nat with The Mirror Effect, Nuclear Vomit with Bitches, Drugs, and Broken Dreams. I'm glad I wasn't sucking on an ice cube, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like I said, I, we're not responsible for Oh, darn it, I got distracted. Oh, sorry. Alright, next up we have Gremlin with Evil Baby, Bess Atwell with Co-op, Rat Boys with Go Outside, Elephant Micah with Eastern Colors, uh, Patrick Page 2 with Whisper, Want My Love, featuring Steve Lacey, Duran, Bernard, Alan Love. Then we have Pick This Trail with Pig Nice, Ken Bodhi Remix. Gay Meat with Ever Always. Let's see, we have Avid Dancer with I Don't Want to Wait for Another Love. Aww. Let's see, we have Jaroslav Devis with Zakazani Pokuseni. Honey Slice with Mr. Persuasive. Arnon Caten Cataneo with Connected. Legend with Woolworth Lunch Center. I mean, Lunch Counter. <laughs> Let's see, then The Architect and Birdland with Halal 2. Then here are the CDs that came out today. Yukika with Love Month. Japanese Breakfast with Be Sweet. Ash and Phineas with Till Forever Falls Apart. Jensen McRae with Starting to Get to You. Wugori and Gonzala Monk with Malpasado Bem Pensado. Pueblo Vista with Am Epos Am Ergon. Glow with Slash and Burn. The Armed with Average Death. I'm sorry about this band, folks. Shitty Boys <laughs> with Four Pete. Sorry. Not our fault, Twitch. Yes, Twitch, please don't blame us. <laughs> Void of Vision with Splinter. And no, we're not talking about that vision from WandaVision either. <laughs> Then we have Golgotha with Remembering the Past, Writing the Future. Mazel with Another Way. Body Meat with 4700. Penelope Traps with Nervous. Rostam with Forerunner. Jeff Call Kali with Beats 2021. Erica de Cassier with Drama. Uh, Brittany Howard with Say Hi Again with Fred Again, Joy Anonymous. Pom Pom Squad with Lux. Liam Bailey with Ugly Truth Remix featuring Lee Scratch Perry. Juan Waters with Unity with Cola Boy. Alphamist with Organic Rust. 
Nudes with Sheets, Maranero with Nuestra Victoria, Tucker Doolin and Ben Owen with Cat Guarding Geese. Cat Guarding Geese, that's a new one. And by the way, that one started what comes out tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> Plaid with Stem Cell. And I think I just heard John in the picture. Hello, John. <laughs> hey, Shirley. I recognize the chuckle. Yep. I heard John chuckle, so I had to figure that out. All right. John. <laughs> All right. Then we got, pl all right, we got Plaid with Stem Cell, S-E-L-L. -L. Let's see, they have Nanak with Believe in You, Sakurako Ohara with One, Kiro Akiyama with Fizzy Pop Syndrome, Street Story with Way of Life. I love the background, too. Wish I knew what city that was. Uh, Manpuku with Miyako Wasure, Icon with Why, Why, Why. Why not? Yeah. But then again, we could have been mistaken for my, my, my. Get it? My, <laughs> my, my. Thank you, yes. Jokanda. <laughs> yeah. Then we got Maroon 5. Oh, I've oh. got to check uh, Discovery Plus and see if Joe Kenda's in the ID category. He should be there by now. <laughs> Let's see. Um, then we got Maroon 5. Ah, they got a new one. Beautiful Mistakes. Then we have Aiko with Doshi Tate. To suit oh, oh excuse me. Ooh. Hey John, let me put this one in the um let me put the name in the zoom chat because I'm trying to figure it out and it's difficult. <laughs> it's a Japanese. How'd your day go, John? Okay, here we go. How'd your day go? It's getting better. Yeah. Okay. There it is. It's in check the zoom chat, please. I know this okay, is Dushitate. Dushitate Sutera. Hold on. Okay. Must be in Japanese. It is. Tutsurara Naikara. Thank you. As, you see, I can do like Mayako Wasure, but the other one's like, what? <laughs> then we have the oh, the, Oha, the Ohashi Trio with New World. Hana Sekitori with Atarashi Hana. Tate McRae with Slower. Porter Robinson with Music In. I know it's supposed to be a musician, but that's how they spelled it, musician. We have Glaue with The Way We Do, Laura Mavula with Safe Passage. Then on Thursday, we've got four. Cares Peak with Presence of Life, DJ Snake, and Selena Gomez with Selfish Love. Selena Gomez? I never thought I'd have that one. Let's see. Nick Jonas has a new one. This is Heaven. Uh, no Rome with Spinning. And then on Friday the 5th, here we go. Of Montreal with I Feel Safe With You, Trash. <laughs> then we have Otto Von Chirac and Cubris with Autobrus. Jimbo Mathis and Andrew Bird with These 13. Then we have Kristen Montgomery and the Winter Kill Band with Prince of Poverty. La Representante de Lista with My Mama. Moises with 100 Sonos. Uh, Doc Heller with the Tragical History Tour. A Day to Remember with You're Welcome. Mason Hill with Against the Wall. Jane Weaver with Flock. Tiger's Jaw with I Won't Care How You Remember Me. Rinse with Wherever I Am. The Anchoress with The Art of Losing. Teenage Fan Club with Endless Arcade. Post Data with Twin Flames. Genesis Awusu with Smiling with No Teeth. Of course, he's got all gold teeth in his mouth. <laughs> Dimension UK with Oregon. Arab Strap with As Days Get Dark. Visionist with A Call to Arms. Burn Pin with All Function 1. Barbarossa with Love Here Listen. Rutger Hodemakers with The Age of Oddities. Let's see. El Leon de Oro, Peter Phillips, and Marco Antonio Garza de Paz with Guerrero Magnificat. Lamentations Canciones. Then we have Bernie's with O oh, de Buongiorno. Uh, Blood Wizard with Western Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> that one makes me laugh. <laughs> Western Spaghetti. Gee, what about Eastern Spaghetti tastes like? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Let's see. We have Paul Lewis and Steve. Tastes like Eastern Spaghetti. <laughs> and Alice and Paschetti. <laughs> Let's see. Paul Lewis and Stephen Osborne were French duets. 
Kings of Leon, with when you saw oh, yourself. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I've heard Kings of Leon. They're pretty good. Let's see. Chevelle with Nira Tias. Zetta Larson with Poster Girl. Witherfall with Curse of Autumn. Hey, it's spring. You're a little early for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is funnier. Young Morpheus with Thumbing Through Foliage. So it's like Curse of Autumn and Thumbing Through Foliage. <laughs> what a combo. Let's see. Ian Sweet with Show Me How You Disappear. Painted Shrines with Heaven and Holy. Field Works with Cedars. Fruit Bats with a Pet Parade. Declan O'Rourke with Arrivals. DMAs with Live at Brixton. Azita with Glen Echo. Sum with Awake. Adult Mom with Driver. <laughs> Japan Quiet Life 2021 Remaster. The Vaccines with Kosi Karaoke Volume 1. Judith Hull with Baby I'm Hollywood. Tiger Shaw with I Won't Care How You Remember Me. I don't know how that works. Sorry, I'm aiming at a game I'm playing. Okay. This isn't for anyone in the chat. That's fine. Ariel Posen <laughs> with Headway. Alex Bleeker with Heaven on the Fault Line. Charlotte Lawrence with Charlotte. Tech with Priceless. Chase Atlantic with Beauty and Death. Versace my, with My Head is a Mosh Pit. <laughs> That's a scary thought. Let's see. Uh, Gustavo Cerati with Reversiones Siempre Es Hoy. Koldovstvo with Oh boy, it's in acrylic. Hun Uapa Hun Bora. It's Put acrylic. It in the chat. Okay, I hope I can do this because I mean, this is Put acrylic. Put it in chat anyway. Okay. Alright, give me a second. You mean Cyrillic? Like uh, Cyrillic Russian? Yeah. There it is. Um, I think H is theta. Uh, Ugh, use me. Ow. I'm going to see if I can put this in English characters. Hold on. Okay. Take your time. You know what uh, kind of album cover I'd like to see? What? The Spanish one reading Siempre Contesta en Español. <laughs> uh, translate to English, always, please. Always something. It's always blank in Spanish. I can't remember what that one is. Always though. answer in Spanish. Ah, thank you. The whole phrase is this. You froze up. Uh, fiction's unstable. Hold on. Okay. Stand by, folks. I'll be right uh, back. <laughs> yes, oh, you little church on. yet. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. No, you think you got a good bid in this auction and somebody else outbids you by about 40 points. And within about two seconds of the end, right? Yeah, something like that. Yes. I'm, it frustrates I'm... the piss out of me. Yeah, I know. Oh, excuse me. Must have my agua. Well, remember we used to do this when we were members of the the penguins? Yeah. We played this game? Mm-hmm. It's a pogo league we used to All be right. a member um, of. Yeah. Surely I just found it. Okay. It's uh, in Roman letters roughly Nitsaria Niboga. Okay, thank you very much. Oddly enough, that's uh, Eastern European for neither Sar nor God. Hmm. All right, let's see. We have Terminology and Short Fuse with Goya 3. Quinn, let's see, I think that's XCII. We'll change the scenery to. No, it would be CXII. Oh, well. Let's What's see. We have. Numeral? Uh, XCII? 92. Okay, thank you. Sure. Boy, where did you learn to translate so fast? Uh, I'm a... I think I got a thing for linguistics. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, nothing wrong with that is right. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Regional Justice Center with Crime and Punishment. Aaron Romero with Brain Dead Disorder. Various artists with numero 95, and I love this cover. It's a floppy disk. <laughs> you see the meme where, uh, I think it was a Japanese millennial 
mm-hmm. wonders why there's an icon in word that looks like a soda machine <laughs> a what the floppy disk the floppy disk this japanese uh, millennial thought that the floppy disk icon the save icon mm-hmm. looked like a soda dispenser yeah <laughs> Let's see, there we have Maria Arnall and Marcel Bahes with Clamor. Various Artists with Flex Gang, Volume 3. Fote with On Hold. Cordavision, not WandaVision, but Cordavision with Crosses Across Your Heart. I thought you said Portavision, like yeah. Port Body. <laughs> Whoever, if someone comes up with that band, I'll, see it, I'll have seen it all. <laughs> not while well, I have an ice cube in my mouth. <laughs> all right. Then we have Pablo Andres Ford with Huevelo. Various artists with Intermission. Various artists with La Ola Interior. Ambient Acid Exoticism in Spain, 1983 to 1990. Uh, then we have Salistic Jones and Dirty Digs with Everybody Eat. Well, we have to. we got to survive. Let's see. <laughs> we have Gabrielle with Do It Again. We Are Only Human Once with Spewing wait, wait, Shit. Wait yes. Does she by any chance have a cover of Steely Dan's Do It Again on that album? I'd have to uh, check. Hold, I don't want me to find I'm out. Fish, I got it. Okay, thanks. Uh, no, no, I like I get what what John's trying to say here. That's funny. Yeah. Well, that's why I'm gonna open up this thing real quick and find out what the song list is. Okay, I just want this. Okay, uh, it doesn't say, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, well. <laughs> Alright, then we have We Are Only Human Once with spewing shit through our teeth. <laughs> oh, gross! Oh. <laughs> I know, but that's the title. I'm sorry. Gross! I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. North Face, that's self titled. Uh, cast with Vigissimus. St. Vincent with Pay Your Way in Pain. Well, that's not a not a good idea. Then we have Cosm and Michal Parkinson with Aspetta. London How do you Grammar spell with the Michal name. M I C A L L. Yeah, yeah, sorry. That's all right. No, you're fine. It's okay. London Grammar with How Does It Feel? Denzel Curry and Kenny Beats with Unlocked 1.5. Beast with Necro Sapiens. Brand of Sacrifice with Lifeblood. Mork with Cathedralin, and no, it's not Mork and Mindy. <laughs> then we have Nightfall, At Night We Pray, Wolfheart with Skull Soldiers, Woven Nest with Temple, Warrior Path with the Mad King, Acid Mammoth with Caravan, Mr. Mitch with Lazy, Tory Lanes with Playboy, Sleep Sinatra and Ed Glorious with Sleep Gloriously. <laughs> Go figure that one out. Dotaki with Fautaki, part one. And I don't know why they have a character. It looks like he's from Beauty and the Beast. The, the 1991 animated movie. Let's what see. character does he look like? Uh, who was Gaston's little partner? Gaston's? Uh, Gaston's, yeah. That was the guy Jess Gad played in the remake. Yeah. Thank you. Let's see, we have Glass Peach with Alchemist Rats Be- Beg Bashful remixes. Then we have Bebby Reha with Sacrifice. Cascade with Reset. James McArthur with Medicine. Jake Isaac with Honesty. Silk Sonic with An Evening with Silk Sonic. Byla Rose with How Far. Grace Vanderwall with Don't Assume What You Don't Know. Silva with Tropaolicos. You can just go ahead and shut the door. Tropaolicos. they won't go to... All right. I know I'll be out doing dishes. That's Night, fun. Jack. All right. Then we have the Harvest Trail with Instinct, Numenor with Draconian oh. Age, Nonfear with Eigenhide. Oh boy, the one name we all really don't like, Justin Bieber. What's he singing now? He's got a new album called Hold On. Yeah, we better hold on for this <laughs> tidal wave of. Uh sewer water well me i always call him just a booger <laughs> well you know what now let's um, give him credit where credit's due you haven't really heard any scuttlebutt on him lately so let's give him credit for trying to straighten up 
Okay, good point. You call dyeing your hair pink and cutting it slightly effeminately trying to straighten up? Well, he's not in trouble with the law. Lately. Like he was. It's yes. It's not a question of whether or not he's in trouble with the law. It's a question of whether or not he can be mistaken for the opposite gender when he's not trying to be. Well, that's his style. He's not getting in trouble with anybody that I know of. Yeah, well. Okay, I don't listen so to him anyway. I'm not, I haven't kept track of him, so I'm not going to worry. <laughs> Janet, when South Park lampoons him by having the monster Cthulhu crush his head like a bubble wrap bubble, <laughs> there's a problem. Well, I don't watch South Park. Oh, so. well, don't worry about it. All right, I'm guess not we're, lost. <laughs> yeah, we're down, to the la we're down to the last six CDs anyway. We've got Baby Keen with No Sense. Third Face would do it with a smile. The Hyena Kill with a disconnect. FYI Chris with Earth Scum. A nice idea of using a keyboard button for a cover. <laughs> uh, Void of Vision. Not that vision. With Hyper Days Redo. And finally, Agala with Francisco Blanco. And that is all the CDs for the week. And we still got 15 minutes to chat. Yeah. Hey, and I, uh, excuse me. Speaking of that, Shirley, I saw the thing somebody shared about the uh, mass mandate being lifted in Texas. Mm -hmm. I say it's a big mistake. Me, I no, feel I like can this. See why, but... Yeah. I can see this. I think, you know, here in Alabama, the numbers are getting lower. But I think, now here's the thing our ma mass mandate is set to expire at 5 p.m. on Friday. I'm going to go with one of two ways. Number one, she'll extend it for three more weeks and make it the last one. Or number two, make it a personal choice situation. You I know, hope it's a personal choice. Uh, I would take the personal choice because mom and I, we're, you know, we prefer wearing our masks out of caution, but we're not going to force everybody else. Okay. That, I feel like that's what part of it is. You know, it's like when it's mandated, it's like, I don't mind. Other people have minded, and I can understand why. Take it, yeah. There's prime examples on the internet of people who don't like the mask. Right. I personally, like I said, like I said before, I have a compromised immune system. Mm -hmm. So you, so in your case, it'd be better for you to have a mask on. Uh huh. But I would, but I would say let's go with the personal choice situation. That way, um, you know, if you know, mom and I wear masks, we're good, and we're not going to force everybody else to wear it. I wear my among us masks, and I yes. I attract attention. So, yeah, and some of the masks it's, I wear, I attract attention, but in a good way. So, yeah, yes, same what, here. The, what's a, what's been great about wearing masks is like people are finding ways they've been able to sew their sew customized masks. Because my niece has my niece has done a few for me. My former coworker did a few for me. One was the Avengers. Uh, one was um, University of Alabama. And then from this company called Bags of Love, which is based in England, I was able to make four um, custom masks, and they only cost 20 bucks. Wow. Don't let anybody outside of this group hear you say Bags of Love. You do not want to think how that can be misinterpreted. That's true. But I mean, it's the name of the company. That's yeah, what I mean. And... It is the name of the company, and they are really, they've been really great. So. Well, yeah. let's uh, hope they're big enough to... Uh, compensate for what their name could do to them well that may be true but you know i mean i mean i've not seen any complaints but that's just me i could be wrong so yeah but um but you know i mean i have i've seen a lot of really cool masks in the shut time. up princess yeah i was i've seen a lot of people come quiet up with really you get cool in masks, there so <laughs> excuse me get okay well, there Shirley, Joker, mm -hmm. Jim. Yeah. Can you imagine Super Mario saving, saying that? What? Shut up, princess. <laughs> <laughs> or better yet, <laughs> saying that. Winner. Oh, I was talking to thanks, princess. You just cost me a doggone good hand. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, we have a winner. We have a winner. winner. That could uh... <laughs> We have a winner. <laughs> yeah. Or it could also apply to um Link and um Zelda, yeah, that's right? What I just said, Link yeah. Yeah. saying, "Get up, princess." Oh shit! What did I start? 
Yeah, what or Mario, 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 Mario calling. Mario started it. It was a princess who started it. Yeah, that was or... my dog. She was laying next to the chair barking. Yeah, to get out. Yeah, or Mario telling Peach, "Shut up, princess." Shut, Shut up, up, princess. <laughs> Oh man! After we're Princess off, is I our female. She, she is jealous of Cosmo. Oh. Gets mad every time Cosmo gets in my lap first. Well. <laughs> um, I gotta show you guys Seth MacFarlane's take on Mario and Peach. Okay. After we're off the air, of course. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, but uh, let's also, see. Look. Uh, should show you my newest acquisition. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, let's see. Um. Anyway, here's an update to my odds, my crazy situation I talked about yesterday. I've already gotten in contact with the bank. I've already gotten in contact with the police. What yes. I got to do now is I need to fill out an affidavit of fraud, get it notarized, and then I can contact the police. Then they'll have the entire report, and they'll be put into it'll be put into a report for fraud. So, so until that, there's nothing more I can do after that point. But you know, at least I stopped it before it could get a whole lot worse. Yeah. Well, if he can take a breather, I stay after this is all done. Uh, watch me play with my newest acquisition. Okay. Maybe set up a game of Among Us to, uh, so we all can join in. Okay. Uh, I'm getting Speaking through. of all of us, do you know why Frodo's not with us tonight? Uh, he usually it's does Tuesday, not do the two on Tuesday. Tuesday. That's yeah, right. it's usually not his night. Tuesdays and Thursdays are generally his nights off, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is, under which which is, is understandable. Fine. Yeah. Of course, Thursday could be different because we're going to play Among Us Thursday and then Shellshock Live on Friday. <laughs> Shellshock yeah, Live, yeah. I need <laughs> lots of practice on. Yeah, I think we all do. But, you know, that that's the beauty of it, though. The whole idea is just have fun, you know. And, like, you know, what happened <laughs> with me is, you know, I guess got in that lucky position. So. Yeah. Well, what we need is graphical methods of calculating parabola parabolic trajectories based on starting point and end point. Speak English. <laughs> In other words, do I an, did. do an arc. <laughs> like try to figure a out an arc, arc. A, a parable a, par a parabolic arc of um mm -hmm. you know trying to aim correctly for your opponent. <laughs> Because I do remember parabolas from algebra in a, in junior high and oh, high God, school. Oh, so. God, I was shitty in algebra, so don't get me started on that math. Hey, I made all if the way to calculus. <laughs> if it's any consolation, I didn't do algebra till I was in high school, and that was the first time I was ready for it. Yeah, I did algebra. I did algebra first in seventh grade. And then I say I can't remember. I can't remember which math I did in eighth. I know ninth grade I did geometry. Tenth was algebra one with trig. Then algebra two. No, wait. Oh, I can't remember because I remember I did analysis in my junior year and AP calculus in my uh, high school senior year. So. Nice. Ugh, algebra was oh god. Well, math was not my strong point. Math has been my strong point, but the one, my biggest weakness by far, is word problems. And I'll tell you why. I would have trouble translating the word problem into the correct formula. Seriously, I would have a big problem with the word problems. So, everything else in math, I'm good. Now, I have now on that app Elevate. I have estimation. One of the problem, one of the biggest problems, is you try to have to add everything up so fast, and that's unfortunately something I have trouble with sometimes. So well, you know how you do that, right? Yeah. Just try to you know because what you it basically is trying to get your you estimate your constituents first, then you add them together. Right. I could be my big problem. Come on, I submitted that bid. What are you playing? Online poker? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> Dice City Roller. Ah. Well, I'm low man on the totem pole. I'm ninth place out of ten people, so. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Smart yeah. ass. Yeah, but, you know, at least the good news is I've got you guys backing me up. 
My brother, sister-in-law, and mother are backing me up. Uh, LaShawn is backing me up. Uh, our other workmate, David, he's backing me up, too. So it's like, there have been the times I feel like I should deal with this alone, but it's like, no. I no, can't do it's this. It's like I tried to tell you talking to you on the phone this morning. You have a lot of people that love you, Cheryl. Yes. Because I was thinking, what, I was thinking, I could, I should not ask for help. It makes me weak, but no. Okay, surely you it know who wants you to believe that. It takes a strong person to ask for help. Remember Satan, that. Satan wants you to believe that you're not allowed to ask other people for help, because he knows that as long as you believe that, you're not going to get the help you need, and you're going to be vulnerable. I know. I know how that feels. I feel like a weakling, an idiot, what have you, when I ask people for help, especially when what I'm looking for is hidden in plain sight. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you how many times it's happened to me, but sometimes you have to. Yeah. Well, I, I, I it's like I said, math is not my strong point. Jack Dempsey, he can do, he could figure out numbers in his head without using a piece of paper. I believe it. I can for the or most part, too. Or he can look too. at numbers and say, okay, you need to do this, 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 and this. Yeah, I can for the most part myself. Oh, darn but it. My, my, favorite th my favorite thing... Bit me my on favorite my favorite. Oh, you are right. Bug bit me on my rear end. Ouch. That's not fun. But um, one thing I love to do is... I want to... Because I... When I started doing cryptic quotes, the daily cryptic quote in the newspaper... I would, you know, I'd like write down, find the pattern, blah, blah, blah. Now it has reached a point where I don't even have to write anything down. Yeah, well, there's, there's, mm -hmm. there's one game I wish I could learn how to do, and that's Sudoku. Oh, I'm terrible with Sudoku. Okay. <laughs> the main thing you got to remember, Janet, what you got to do is start with a, a nine, three by three square. Just go through each blank and see what the possible numbers are and look for one where there's only one possible number and just eliminate from there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, I mean, yeah, that's been a challenge for me, too. Yeah, but I, but I love getting to the point where now I can do cryptic quotes. Sometimes, you know, depending on how quick, how quick I can see the pattern, I can do it sometimes in under five minutes. And all you gotta do is go find the quote, copy it, and then paste it on Facebook and Twitter. Because it's like, I can remember this, but I wanna make sure I want them to get the exact wording. Yeah. So. But I, it, it's great that I can do about, I'd say 90, I'd say 97% of the time. There are Sundays where there's just, there's too many letters, I'm gonna go cheat. <laughs> so. But I have a puzzle book. My favorite puzzles are word searches. Oh, yeah, I like word searches. Oh, me. oh don't get me started. Sorry, I'm tired because, you know, all the, you know, all the crying and all this stuff actually leaves me physically exhausted. Yeah, it tends to do that. So. It'll leave you exhausted, leave you dehydrated. Mm-hmm. Well, at least not the dehydrated part, because I've been drinking plenty of water today. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but oh, at least. Uh, yeah, but at least you know I'm working on getting to a solution to this mess. Yes. Uh, it's a, and and what your your sister-in-law mentioned, last resort. Yeah, I know, but um, she said you know don't beat yourself up over this because we've all done it. I mean, I'm not saying everybody here has done it, but, you know, a lot of people hey, have fallen victim. And I know I'm not the only victim of this right, particular right, scam. Right, right. And you want to know what's amazing? This morning, I got an email from a different company trying the same exact thing. I trashed it in 10 seconds. <laughs> Good for you. Because it's like, I am not going through this again. It was for the oh. same thing, $35 an hour. You have to meet with someone on wire messengers like, oh, no, you don't. You're not going to do this to me again. And here's the best part. Uh, 
uh, um, uh, Mike and Janet know about this. I don't know if you did. I called that person out this morning. Yeah, I had a feeling you would if you'd gone to the police. Yeah. I called the person out this morning saying, I'm looking forward to the equipment, and of course the equipment has not come. So, it's like, uh uh-huh, that that did it. That clinched it. I told it did come. Turn around and send it back. Put return to sender on the boxes. Yeah, and put a little like like put a recording bill saying return to sender. <laughs> Address unknown. Yeah, oh, but but um but I'm just I'm just glad that I caught this in the nick of time because this could have gotten a whole lot worse. Yeah, you yeah. you knew you. It was a thing when they asked you to send Bitcoin. Yeah. From what I understand, Bitcoin, if you use Bitcoin in fraud, it's un, it's virtually untraceable. Yeah. But the good news is I I've got I have that. the receipt for it. I actually had the receipt for it. I don't know if it's going to be of any help, but you know I've kept I have printed out every single thing that's had to do with this whole mess. So the only yeah the only problem is trying to figure out how to get that. Um, conversation from wire, from that wire messenger to something readable because it well, would help a um, lot Shirley if you haven't already just given it to the police you should Yeah. I don't know what's in that thing it could well be malware once you decrypt it that's true so what I'm doing is I'm trying to do it screen caps I've been taking pics every part of the way through the conversation so yeah. I can at least have something they probably thought they had an easy touch with you. Yeah, but then Surprise! I... Surprise! Yeah, here's... You know what's really funny? That that check I got. I you See, I didn't know this until I went to the I went to the bank earlier today. She mm. said that they had already literally returned the check. That check was fraudulent. But at least I didn't do anything, so no <laughs> money got lost there. Nice. That's very good. That's very good. Because if that check would have bounced, you would have been uh, on the hook for the money. Exactly. So the so re so my bank. Thank you, Regions. Regions, you know, Regions is all, has been pretty good to me on a lot of things. So yeah. it's like I will tell you something. I almost became a an identity theft victim twice. But here's what happened. Regions caught a couple of unusual purchases. And because I checked it out, I was like, wait a minute, somebody bought a sports jacket? <laughs> so I contacted them, and the good news is those transactions never went through. So I got all that money back. And then someone a couple years later tried it again. And it's like, I looked, it's like, I contacted Regents, and they were on top of it. So. So, for, I mean, now this is just me. I know for a lot of people, Regis may not be the best bank in the world. But, you know, I mean, for me, uh, they've been good. Oh, it's some, I don't know what, if this was counted fraud. Twice. Uh-huh. I buy Plus Sam's you. Club bill. Um, I um, saw a thing for beer. Bad enough it was beer. It was cool. It was cool. So I called up, got it taken care of, and they said, don't pay the cost of the beer, just pay the cost of everything else that's on your bill. Yeah. I go, okay, that was good. Well, guess what? It happened again. So I called the um, uh, people. Okay, hang on, I'm doing slow here. Okay. I called back and I said, listen, I didn't buy that beer. I don't drink beer, and if I drank beer, it would not be, it would not be Coors, it would be Bud Light. Mm-hmm. So I didn't have to pay that either. That's good. And so, and somehow my mother, on one of her cards, someone made a purchase on Mom's Coles card. The problem uh-huh. is, the person did it in California. Nice. Well, you, you know the beer? Mm-hmm. They they gave the the beer the price of the beer it was out of bentonville mm. um arkansas has to be uh, bentonville arkansas mm-hmm. that is uh walmart's home hometown yeah home, 
headquarters. Right. So I got lucky there twice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and what we did was we contacted we contacted the uh, the credit card company for calls, and they said we're gonna, we're going to make sure the purchase gets taken off because that's that's something. You, as I said, this my mother would not be purchasing this. I can't remember exactly what it was, but she um she hadn't purchased on Kohl's for a while, and all of a sudden there's this hundred thirty eight dollars on the bill. It's like where the heck did this come from? The German hackers. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to a different game. Uh, oh, here's me. But, you know, a determined, it doesn't matter. Well, what helps is I have a double layer. Mm -hmm. of, like on my cell phone, I have a double layer of security. I have the fingerprint ID and the PIN number. Um, <laughs> Listen, I think Mom needs me. I'll be back in a minute, okay? Okay. Holding. We will be here. All right. I'll be back. Well, as long as everything proves to be okay, that's what matters. Yep. Guys, I'm gonna spoil a surprise. Do not spoil it for Shirley. Uh, okay. I downloaded my own copy of Yoshi's Island last night. Oh! Nice. Like I said, don't spoil it for Shirley. I'm gonna show her everybody off the air when she comes back. Okay. I need to do that my zips are lipped. Gotcha. I... I have Super Mario World. I have a ROM hack for Super Mario World. Um, ROM hacks are so much fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, I downloaded. Where did you get Steam the Zero. game? Where did you get it? Um, Online. I think it was uh, ROM Wow, something like that. Wow ROM. Whatever it was, it didn't spike me, didn't charge me for it, and works just fine so far. I might get my copy for it. Cool. So is it on a computer, or tablet, yeah. or what? I got a, I got a Super NES emulator on my computer. So do uh, I. I tell you, it's. Uh, it's a transition between a controller and the hotkeys, even when you pick them out. Well, I mean, you can always hook up a uh, controller. To I gotta figure out how to program mine. I lost the paper that showed me how. You know, if I find an, an SNES controller with a USB input, maybe. It could work. Or... Two weeks. I have the apartment all full of to myself tonight. Nice. My mom's out um out in uh Ely taking a, taking care of a family friend. Oh, what's wrong? Well, just need just just need someone there. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, mom just needed me to get something that was in the laundry room. And she was already in the bed, and I didn't want her to get out of the bed, so that's fine. Nice. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, so no big deal. All right. But uh, anyway, um, <clears throat> what was I saying? When... I forgot. Yeah. Uh. Shirley, it's nine after nine. Uh, yeah. In light of how you're feeling, you Excuse think we ought to... yourself. Yeah, maybe it's time because I, it's my turn to upload anyway. <laughs> All right. So anyway, uh, this, of course, is our game plan for the rest of the week. Tomorrow, of course, is Warzone Wednesday. Thursday, it's Among Us bonus night. And Friday is going to be Shell Shock Live. So. Yeah. Oh, before I forget, remember how I was complaining and complaining and complaining? Because... Everybody got their vaccinations but me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, as of noon today, I could have signed up to get my vaccinations. Mm -hmm. But Jack even told me to wait till I talk to the to my doctor. Doctor Pam. Doctor Pam. 
which I go for a treatment a week from Friday, so. Right. She wants oh, to check. Yeah, so she needs Hold to check. Hold on, Avon calling. Okay. But she needs to check to make sure it's okay to get the vaccine either during the treatment or should she wait after the treatment. Hello? So. Uh, no, this is your daughter. Hold on. Okay. I just muted it. Don't worry. <laughs> That's right. As long as I'm the host, I can control the mute. <laughs> <laughs> that but, is true. That is true. Yeah, but you know, at least you know my situation. You know, it's it's been a costly one, but live and learn. And who knows? I may I may contact local media and do something about that too. You know, get the word out. You know, warn people. Don't fall for this. Oh yeah. Because Definitely. I agree. Because I'm not the only one, but this is one. This is obviously something totally different. For I mean, I've never seen a scam like this before. So well, ever since people started working from home, it's uh, probably gotten a lot more popular. Yeah. I've seen stuff like this back when I was applying for jobs. It'd say things like uh, "Become a courier." Unmute home. Jan. We we had to mute you just temporarily. Go, go into Zoom. Yeah, go to Zoom. There you go. You got it. Uh, now, now unmute your mic from your mic, Janet. <laughs> now unmute your headset. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Dad, blame, or or as my or as Dusty Hayes would have said, Dad, blame Jughead and Crowbait. <laughs> I did. Yeah, that was a friend, a family friend. <laughs> Yeah, and I still remember that exact word. Billy Joe Jim Bob Earl. <laughs> Where the hell did that come from? Well, I don't know. I just want to say it. That's but it, it, let's put it this way. My 10th grade health teacher, whenever he needed an example of a person, he would always say, Billy Joe Jim Bob Earl. <laughs> so, Coach, uh, and I hope Coach Brewer is still alive. But if, and if he is like, thank you, Coach. <laughs> All right, so anyway, I think this is a good point to end the show tonight, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and oh, and one more thing. Um, we are going to add comic books next Tuesday because today LaShawn started her job as manager of a family dollar store, and it wouldn't give her, it would not have given her enough time today. So that's no problem. We will give her one week. So hopefully she'll join us next week. All right, so and who? Let me play the ending here. Where's the ending? There it is. Hang on for 10 seconds. All right. With that in mind, I'm just going to say love, peace, and chicken grease. Have a great night. Sleep well. Stay safe. Stay warm. Stay dry. Because it's been wet here all day in Montgomery. <laughs> Oh, has really? it been raining? Has it been it's raining? Rain oh, yeah, it's been raining all day. All, off and on all day. But hopefully tomorrow will be done. But the temperatures are going to be fluctuating up and down around here because we have a crazy cold front, you know, <laughs> playing games with us. All right. Well, they're, they're saying that this cold front passing through this week, mm -hmm. towards the end of the week, will be drop, dropping a little snow up and Flagstaff, you know, up north. Head for like the Grand Canyon. <laughs> yeah. Because I know North Rim, they close it in the wintertime because they have a lot more snow than the south, right? Uh-huh, right. Mm -hmm. All right, love, peace, chicken grease, let's yeah. go. All right, love, peace, and chicken grease, everybody have a great night, and we'll see you tomorrow for Warzone Wednesday. Good night, everybody.